So Dynadot is a domain name registrar where with your purchase, you get basically a free one page website builder and a professional email all with your domain name registration price. I think it's one of the best values around. And in this video, I wanna take a quick look at the basically the website builder as well as the professional email feature built into everything. So let's get to it. What's up everybody, it's David, WebsiteCreatorPro.com. So let's take a look at Dynadot. I'm going to build basically a quick one page website with Dynadot's website builder. Now it is a bit limited obviously because it's no Google sites. Obviously if you wanna use like a website builder to build like your five, 10 page about me website, something like that, yeah, you should definitely use Google sites. But if you're just looking for something where it's like, I can register a domain name, I can get a free one page website builder and just one page that's a quick little about me or whatever maybe, or maybe you wanna set up some splash page where you say like, hey, this domain name is for sale, maybe you're a domainer and that type of deal. And then you wanna set up some type of like contact form and have it be sent to a professional email like hello at your website.com. Dynadot has a pretty compelling offer. So let's jump into my laptop and take a look at this website builder as well as the professional email feature. So let's begin. To Dynadot.com. So with Dynadot, you do get a free website with your domain name registration. In order to take advantage of that, you simply need to enable it. So let me just go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to type in my super amazing blog.com. We'll click the search box icon okay so now we have my super amazing blog.com is available so we'll go ahead and click add all right now let's go ahead and click view carts and there you go so right down here you'll see something that says website builder and all you have to do is click on enable and then go through the process of basically checking out of your domain name. Now, right here, you'll see that it says basic pro business. You just wanna make sure to select free, and then that's basically it. Your website builder will be enabled for this domain name that you are about to register. So I'm not gonna insult your intelligence. I assume that you figured out how to <laughs> basically pay for something online. And so once you have everything set up, you register your domain name and you have your Dynadot accounts, you wanna navigate over to where it says my domain names and go to manage domain names. Now here you should have your domain name and the DNS settings should be the Dynadot site builder if you enabled it upon registration. And so to get started, all you have to do is click the Dynadot site builder. Okay, so now we wanna make sure to go to manage sites. Okay, and now we wanna click on the blue edit button. And now the website builder for Dynadot will load. Okay, so it looks like it's getting started. Now, the first thing we're gonna do before we design the site is I wanna help you set up the professional email, which I think is a big advantage of this. Uh, so basically, you wanna click on this little gear icon right here, and then you wanna to navigate to email. Now, please be patient, it does take a little bit of time usually for this page to load. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. Just click it, wait a second, let it load. Now to get started, you have to actually create a professional email. With your account, you get one professional email account per domain name that you register. And so let me just go ahead and click on this little plus sign right there, and now I can set up a basically a new user. And so I'll just call this test, and I'll call the email hello at the domain name .com put in a password that's secure, but you can also remember. So let me just go ahead and fill that out. And there we go. So let's click on create new user and voila, there we go. And so now if you're wondering, well, how do you check your email? You click this, right? And then this loads up. And so I'm just gonna tell you like, you don't go and come in here. This is basically your profile for this email, okay? And so what you need to do instead is you wanna click on back and then you have to click this icon right here. Super awesome dating, whatever your domain name is right here, slash mail. Okay, now it's time to sign in. Now I know what you're thinking, the username. What's the username? The username is whatever your registered user is, right? No, <laughs> I don't know why Danadot does this. It took me a little bit of time to figure this out, but actually it's the professional email that you just created. So let me go ahead and click on this and you wanna take this right here, okay? So this is the professional email that I just created let me click on copy and let me come in here and paste. Okay. And now for the password is you want to put in the password that you just used to create the registered user. And there you go. So you're all set. So this is basically your inbox. And so when we set up our website and you can add a contact form on your one page website, anytime someone emails you through that form, it's going to end up right here. And so just to show you that this works, I'll just go ahead and uh, email myself. So I'll say hi, and then I test ABC123. 
Let's go ahead and click send. And there we go. So now we have an email, open it up, and there you go. So that is basically it for how you set up a professional email with your Dynadot account and your website builder. Now let's design our one page website with Dynadot. So you have a lot of different options over here. So basically this is your navigation over here. So we have this plus sign and here you have different items that you can drag and drop into the page. Okay, we have text, image, video, audio, spacer, line, social media buttons, a gallery, a map, a contact, Instagram, and Twitter. Now for images, you are limited to basically images that are 30 megabytes or smaller. Okay, so you can't be uploading huge images uh, just to let you know. And now if we click here, this is basically where we can design the specific elements, basically like the navigation, header, content, button, product, footer. We can change like things like the background, color, text, uh, that type of deal. And over here is where we can manage our different pages. Then the gear icon is where you can basically uh, change to different templates, okay? So with Dynadot, you get a couple different templates. And so I would say for like maybe an about me style website, I personally would go with like maybe simple or skyline or even uh, like Pisces. So we'll just do sky, we'll just do skyline. So let me go ahead and click on change. And let me just click on start and say yes. All right, so now Skyline has just successfully loaded. So to begin editing is a quick and easy process. Okay, so basically to change any element you want, you wanna go ahead and click on it. So for example, I wanna change this from saying Skyline, just click on it and then you can type in your name. So I can just type in my name right here, okay? And now because Dynadot, you can only have one page, like literally a one page website. So we have to delete these other pages here because we click on publish. It's gonna say like, hey, you have to upgrade your account to publish multiple pages. So let's just go ahead and delete those pages. So we wanna click on the page icon over here and we wanna go ahead and we wanna click on discard. Okay, sorry, we <laughs> there we go, delete page. Okay, and so you wanna go through that and just do that for each one. Okay, so I went ahead and deleted all the pages. Now I'm only left with the home icon right there. So if you go and click on this and you want to delete it, it won't let you because it'll tell you that you have to have at least one page on your site. So what I would recommend doing is basically use this as your opportunity to basically create like a tagline. Okay, so it's like, I'll just call it like a web website professional, whatever. Okay, so I'll call it navigation title and there we go so leave it as that okay so now the reason it didn't change is because you have to actually select the save button okay and so a lot of you will be not confused but like that's why i'm making this video just to show you different little aspects we'll just go back into that and the save button is actually down there so let's go ahead and basically we'll call this website professional okay and then let me click on the save button right there okay so let me go ahead and click on skyline again i'll type in my name and there we go. And now we wanna click on save, okay? So the save button up top there is your friend. Make sure to click on it a few times. Okay, so let me just change this welcome to Skyline. I'll just call this like, uh, welcome, to, welcome to my website, okay? Obviously, you wanna give it a call to action or something like that that makes sense, that's compelling, interesting, whatever. Okay, so basically now we got the top section designed here. So let me go ahead and click on header design and click on background, and then this is where you can change the background image. So I'll go ahead and click on remove, and then I'll go ahead and click on upload image, and then I will select an image of my own choosing, and that looks nice, and I'll click on save. Okay, so now we have a nice image of me, and this basically nice basic text. Okay, so now we have the get started button there. Okay, so let me go ahead and click on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on this. Now here, the URL, you just click on it and then you can set the URL to where you want it to be. So say like if you're a YouTuber and you just wanna to link to your YouTube channel, uh, whatever, you could just do that here. So we could just type in like, uh, like YouTube, okay, whatever. And we'll click on save. Okay, so now we have the body content here. And so this is all black and you're like, well, I don't like black, how do I make this a any color other than black <laughs> so you just come here to content click on the background icon here and right here okay so again 
the pencil icon and then the pencil icon is where you can change all these different items okay and so I just went to background and then made it white now personally what I, I would go ahead and do like once you select the theme that or the template that you like just go ahead and jump in and then I would personally would just delete all of this uh, stuff that comes with it personally because we just want to add in our own stuff right we don't want any of this and let's just start with a blank slate and almost done all right <laughs> There we go. <laughs> okay, so now we can start adding stuff that we wanna add. So I can click on this plus icon there and I can go ahead and drag and drop an image of myself right there. Okay, so I'll click on upload image and then I'll select this image of myself. Okay, now click on save and let's make this image a little bit smaller there. Okay, now maybe I wanna add some text next to this. And so we'll just click on the A then boom drag and drop it there okay so now we can write here and so with your text box you basically get a couple of different options about how you want to align the text so let me just put in some dummy text lipsorium and let me go to this generator i'll just take this piece of text right here and we'll just copy and paste that in boom all right so now we can have a different couple different options i want this over to the left and I want this to be a basically a heading so we can click on the A icon and so we can change the color there but to change the icon to a heading we, there we can select like H2 because this is our H1 and then we have our text right there and so I can highlight this and go here click this and then I can make this a little bit darker and there we go so now we have a very basic like uh, text box okay nothing too fancy and so I can make this image a little bit smaller and I think that looks quite nice. Now, if you're wondering, like, well, the text is a little bit small. Well, again, it's a free website builder. You're, you're limited with things you can do, okay? And so basically, you know, that's a, just a nice little setup, okay? So now we have, let me click on the save button again. So we have the little call to action at the top there. We have little about us site there. And now we can add in different things. So maybe we'll add in a line, a, a nice little spacer there. Okay, and now we can add in, say, like a YouTube video if we wanted to. So I can just have to find the video icon, which is right there. We can drag and drop this into place right there. Okay. And so we can paste in the URL. So I'll just open up my YouTube and we'll just take any video that pops up. Okay. So uh, we'll take this clip. <laughs> Let me copy that and X out of that. And let's put in the URL there paste save okay so now we have a nice video so we have a little bit of about us you could have a video of you want uh, you know if you want to add in your social media icons you could just do that and there you go you have a bunch of different links to edit it you can just change it around like that uh, and now basically that we can just go ahead and keep on adding different things as we want so I don't think these social media buttons look that nice so I'll just get rid of that and so that's basically it so then you could just click, go ahead and add like a specific image if you want you can just drag and drop that into place you can upload an image as you want again as I did with the about me section right there uh, so let's go ahead and add in a contact form so let's drag and drop that right there okay so now we have a nice looking contact form and so basically you'd want to add like maybe text above that so to speak uh, so we can add in text right there so we can have something like a uh, need to get in touch then we can highlight this and i'll change the format to maybe h2 we'll bold it uh you know make it dark so it stands out a little bit uh we can go ahead and delete this section right there move up the form okay and that is starting to look really that's starting to look really nice okay so there we go so now we need to have a nice little form there email uh, for emails and people can message us and that is basically it okay so the one page website builder is very 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 basic but you know again it's good enough if you really just need a simple site where you would just want to have like, hey here's a picture of me about me maybe your latest YouTube video or your best YouTube video contact form etc or you could set this up so like if you're selling this domain name you know you could just have like a, just a blank page like hey this domain name is for sale fill out the form below uh, etc we'll get back to you uh, so and, that, and that's pretty much it so anyways guys that is in a nutshell what you can kind of expect with um, the website builder that you get with your domain name registration so again remember that this is 
completely free. You get free professional email and a free website builder, one page website builder with just registering your domain name. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and take a quick look to see what our website is looking like. And there you go. So basically, <laughs> this domain name is superawesomedating.com. Basically, here you go. We've got the one page website set up. We've got the uh, contact form, video, a little bit about us. We have a nice little header section. Uh, we use the basically the menu to change it into the tagline. And there you go. So that's how you basically set up a nice quick one page website for about me, maybe like a resume or like this domain is for sale type website. All right, that's it for this video. I think it's really impressive with what you get with Dynadot for just registering your domain name. You get a free one-page website builder and you get a professional email. Now again, it's no Google Sites. I definitely recommend checking out my Google Sites tutorial video if you're dead set on creating like a 5, 10 page about me website. But you know, if you just wanna create like a simple one-page website that's just like a quick little overview, like an online resume or an about me website, or you wanna create like a splash page where it's like, hey, this domain name is for sale, contact me, etc. Dynadot's great because you get the one page website builder and you get a contact form where you can set it up to have it be sent to a professional email all through Dynadot at no additional cost beyond just the registering the domain name. Anyways guys, I'm starting to ramble. I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.